It was one of the first things President Obama did just after he was sworn in, promised to close Guantanamo Bay prison. Now it looks like that's one step closer to becoming a reality. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest on that. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Debbie. That promise was one of the hardest promises the president has had to keep. And now the administration will announce today that it's come up with a new idea. It's going to get a prison in Illinois and convert it to a supermax to house some of those Guantanamo detainees and for military commission trials. The Thompson Correctional Center sits mostly empty, 150 miles from Chicago. It was built in 2001 with the potential to hold maximum security inmates in 1,600 cells. But right now it houses 200 minimum security prisoners. An aide to Illinois Senator Dick Durbin says it will be used for no more than 100 terror suspects and would be a big boost to the local downtrodden economy. At a time when Illinois is facing a recession with uh, literally thousands and thousands of our residents desperate for jobs. This is a lifeline. President Obama gave the order to close Gitmo soon after he was sworn in. He wants the suspects to face the U.S. justice system. Some lawmakers have not supported the idea, including Republican Congressman Mark Kirk, who is seeking Mr. Obama's old Senate seat. At the busiest airport in the world and the tallest building in North America, I do not think that we should make Chicagoland the center of jihadi attention in the world. The Thompson facility would be purchased from the state of Illinois and then upgraded to what one source described as beyond supermax. But of course, no prisoners can be moved from Guantanamo without the consent of the U.S. Congress. So that's another stumbling block, Harry. All right, Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Thank you.